Well, here it is, another taxi vlog. Taxi vlog 128. Been a few developments lately. It is now the 18th of October. So, we're into the Oktoberfest season. Not that I've done any festing lately. Uh, maybe I should turn on here. That's what happens when I start the camera before I have done the preliminary stuff. Okay, that should log me in. Anyway, it's been an interesting week. Um, Friday night, which was my first night of the week, one email, what the hell? Um, oh, it's not the right way. Hell, I can't, I'm lousy at multitasking. Uh, let's see now. There, that's what I have to do. This and that. And that should tell me what the information is. Whatever information it is. It's probably not very important or much of it. Uh, let's see now. Any driver currently not full waiting to pick up extra shifts call. Uh, no, I got enough shifts. Thank you very much. Okay, that was useless information. Voice expired and I wasn't even on voice. Oh my goodness. Some people never clear their screens. And uh, we're just gonna do a config here. Uh, 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 1500 hertz, not enough. Let's turn that up. I know this is boring as hell, but... There we go, 110,000 hertz, and 100 milliseconds is enough. Uh, max super, okay, all of these things are set up right. Exit, okay, now I can give you my undivided attention. Yeah, the Friday night was really busy, and of course I had been up since halfway through the afternoon. So I came to work at eight, and, and I worked until just after two in the morning where I got this call and these people went um, these people went out of town uh, for quite a distance it's a you know 45 minute drive out of town good for a sixty dollar fare but on the way back into town I was falling asleep at the wheel so once I got back I just pulled into a parking lot and thought I would take a nap for an hour. It was about just after three, so I figured by four I'd be awake. No, I slept till seven. I actually saw blue sky on the horizon as I was waking up at seven o'clock in the morning. So yeah, being really busy, really, really busy one after another and then going on a drive out of town really tired me out. The Saturday night, it was busy, yes, but not quite as busy, and I got an earlier start. I think I started at around 7. What's that all about? Airbag. Whatever. So, I, uh, I worked all night, and I was still going pretty strong at 5 in the morning. Actually, it was about 4 four or so and at that time I got a call to the hospital well it turns out it was another drive out of town in the same direction out to Souk another $70 fare at the end of my night I got horseshoes up my ass or something this week so now I came out last night which was the Sunday night and it was slow, it was quiet, it was great. I got caught up on watching videos and stuff. So much so that I think I had seven videos left to look at when I uh, left home to come to work. So <laughs> definitely I will be caught up tonight. Good thing I got a good book to read. Uh, come on, you. And you're turning and you're going straight. You're going straight, but you're far away, so I'm making my move. Move is done. Okay. 
Yeah, got this good book to read. It's called uh, To Crush the Moon by Will McCarthy. I've read a few of his books in the past and they were just excellent, having to do with a society in the future where people are immortal and so they have population problems. So they're crushing the moon in order to uh, get closer to the core with the surface such that the gravity will be the same as on Earth and then they can export people from the Earth to the moon. And of course, if the gravity is the same on the surface, it would, in theory, um, be able to hold on to an atmosphere. So uh, that's the premise behind this. And, uh, Will McCarthy being a physicist, uh, and I believe he's an engineer too, uh, he would know a little bit about that. So it's an entertaining read. Getting back to Sunday night, it was quiet, it was quiet, it was quiet. Towards the end, around four, I got a call which took me a little bit to the north of where I usually work. And uh, as soon as I dropped that off, I connected with another call which took me further north, half a, a little more up the peninsula. And I connected with yet another call which took me way out to the other end. Another $40 fare. So now, I'm coming back into town, and I sit in the parking lot where I normally sit, and it's almost 6 o'clock. I'm about to cut, call it off. I'm about to go home. I get a call to an address where I had gone the week before, last week, and it was the woman who had wrecked her car, and she was going to the airport again. Another... $53, I think it was, I got for that. So I got all this income. I got to hide it somehow. So anyway, on one of those mornings on the way back into town, I called my mother up. And she says, uh, I have to confess something. I say, what? What's up, Mom? She says, uh, <laughs> it's bad. I say, what could be so bad? Are you hurt? Or are you feeling any pain? Or, or are you ill? She says, no. She had an accident and totaled her minivan, the one that I drove to Vermont last summer. And what a sweet vehicle that was, too. It was in great condition. It ran really nice, and it was comfortable to sleep in with a mat an air mattress on the floor. So, yeah, I borrowed her van to go camping, and now it's been totaled. Not that the damage is so extensive, but if insurance was to pay to repair it, it would be more money to fix it than the thing is worth and she could sell it for if it was all put together. As it is, she ended up driving into a wall or something and it took out her, her grill and her headlights and her bumper and apparently it destroyed the air conditioning uh, heat exchanger that sits in front of the radiator. So my mother is carless right now and she's looking at how much cars cost and her her friend who's a mechanic said to buy a new one so you won't be inheriting other people's problems. And I'm thinking I if I was in the same town, I'd give you my car. I have a car sitting in my driveway. Okay, it's old, but there's nothing wrong with it. It runs great. It starts every time. There's nothing hanging off it. Nothing is broken. I maintained that thing for the last eight years and used it as my personal car. It's just that the last year I got such a good deal on another car that I couldn't resist. So I have two cars, only one of which is insured right now. I don't need two cars. I only drive about 3,000 miles a year, maybe four if I'm, you know, really going far. So, 
you know, I just use the car for going, getting to work and back and getting groceries. And so I don't put a lot of wear and tear on either car. I don't need to. And my mother, well, bless her heart. <laughs> she, <laughs> when I was there in summer, I filled the gas tank of her van. And she was just under half a tank when she had the crash uh, a week and a few days ago. So she doesn't use it much. It's just that she has the mobility. If she wants to go somewhere, she can. And if she doesn't have a car, and if she's if she's spending thousands of dollars and thousands and thousands and thousands upon a new car, I say, look, I have a car here. I'll give it to you. So I'm going on a road trip, folks. Taxi Vlog 128. Have a good night.